DJ here, the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be going through a 30 minute upper body workout. So for this workout, we're going to go through 27 exercises in total for just one set each. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then after every three exercises, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. This workout also includes a warm up as well. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first exercise we're going to go into is arm swings. So for arm swings, we're just going to swing our arms forwards and backwards. The goal here is to stretch out the shoulders. Here we go, a couple seconds. Side to side here. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. After this, we got a 20 second break before we get into the workout. There we go. We got push ups or chest press coming up first. So, for chest press, what we're going to do is take the bands, put them around the back through the armpits just like that i like to hold mine like this so that way it doesn't hurt the skin in between my index finger and thumb so then from here i'm gonna press out come back out I like to tap them together right there come back good controlled movements kind of pressing straight out kind of bringing it to our chin area when we're out here so that's a little bit of an up movement, but that's normal uh, with chest press or bench press. If it's a little too tough, you can always alternate left and right. One more. Here we go. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna do an incline chest press. So for these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push up towards our head and then come back down. About 10 seconds till we get started. Here we go. Inclines. So pushing up towards the head, back down. Up towards the head, back down. So you should kind of feel this on the upper outside part of your chest. Maybe even a little bit in the shoulders. That's common. Here we go. Push it out, 10 seconds, let's go, last one, up, bring it together, and back down. All right, next we're going to go into an alternating reverse grip press. So, 
For this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it in the same position, except our palms are gonna be faced up. I like to kind of choke up on my bands, make it a little bit tougher for these. And then what we're gonna do is kind of push out and a little bit down while crossing the body. Here we go. So out, a little down, there we go. There we go. Cross it, come back. Cross it, come back. So when you're crossing, you're feeling it squeeze right there in the center of the chest. Keeping that palm facing up, there we go. Come on. Squeeze every rep. Squeeze. Squeeze. Here we go. We got a 30 second break. We're going to go in to seated rows, left side. So, what we're going to do for these is we're going to do seated rows, reverse grip rows, and then high rows. The high rows will be a much lighter weight. So, what I'm going to kind of do real quick is figure out a good resistance. Too easy. Uh, nah, right there. Make it a little tougher. Here we go. So the right hand, we're just kind of holding on. It's not actually working. From here, sitting nice and tall, palm facing the body. Coming back. Or palm facing the leg, sorry. Here we go. Coming back. Remember, nice and tall, chest out, back straight. Here we go. Elbow does not have to be directly by the side on this one. A little bit out is fine. I prefer my elbow to be about here on these, not way in here. There we go. Come on. Push it out. We got one more. All right, we're going into reverse grip rows here. So this time, palm is facing up. And then we're gonna keep our hands nice and low. So pretty much have the knuckles from the knee up the thigh to the hip so it stays low. You're pulling back and low. We're not coming up here. Here we go, on the back. There we go. Elbow stays close. Now we can really feel it in the lat. Good controlled reps here. Of course, the sun would finally come out today when I'm filming and I don't have my glasses on. I'm gonna be all squinty eyed. Yep, sure is. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Keep the hand low. Last one. Here we go. Oh, we got high rows. So for these, I'm gonna use a lighter weight drop down to one of our 30 pound bands here make sure you wrap the band completely around the foot for these ones I'm gonna pull my hand just in line with the shoulder sitting nice and tall here we go coming up and back up oh, here we go kind of feeling it right around that shoulder blade Push it out. Come on. Woo, on fire. One more. Here we go. 30 second break. We're going in to rows, right side. Grab some water if you want it. Get your heavy weight back out. Again, kind of test it. See what feels good to you. A little too easy. There we go. So this time, left hand's not moving, only the right hand. A couple seconds. Here we go. Palm facing towards the legs. There we go. Come on. Let's go push it out. Keep 
push him. Come on, burn it up. There we go, reverse grip rows coming up. Bruce is up, uh, up on the grass over here, just lounging out. He's loving life. We're currently in my mom's house. Alright, a couple seconds, reverse grip rows. Palm faces up, hand stays close to the body. Remember, knuckles from the knees up the thighs to the hip. We're pulling back and kind of down so we can make sure we're working the lat. There we go. Come on. There we go, push it out. One more. There we go. Good reps. Good reps. High rows. Right side. Again, lighter weight here. Gonna test it out. There we go. Feels pretty solid. Maybe a little, a little harder there. Here we go. Alright. Remember, hand stays in line with the shoulders. We come up. There we go. Come on. Whew. This one burns. He pushing. Here's my hand. Oh, thanks, Siri. Last one. Ooh, there we go. All right, we got 30 second break. We're going into shrugs. So we got shrugs and then clean pull left, clean pull right. So for shrugs, we'll just bend out of the way. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna step on our bands, spread our feet out nice and wide to eat up a ton of the bands. Right there, there we go, making it a little tough. From here, coming up, back down. So head stays up, shoulders are moving, not the head. So shoulders come up to the ears, squeeze, and back down. When you come up, don't be pulling down like that. That's not what we're doing. Exhale up. Come on. There we go. Come up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Come on. Keep pushing. There we go, clean pulls, nice light resistance here. We don't need anything crazy. Oh, I see my fish. I'm gonna take some pictures for you guys after this so you guys can believe me. Although it's not hitting my bait, so I'm not very happy right now. Anyways, back to the workout. Clean pulls left, right here. So we're dropping down, coming up. You don't need heavy weight here. Make sure to keep your back nice and straight. There we go, hand close to the body, pulling up to the chest. Back down. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Push it out. Get that heart rate up a little. Come on. One more. Ah, there we go. We're just switching sides here. Clean pulls, right side, coming up. Ten seconds. Let's get ready. Here we go. Dropping down, pulling up. There we go. Go at your own pace on these. If you need to go a little slower, that's fine. Come on, push it out.
Come on. Woo, there we go. 30 second break. We got good mornings. Let's go. So, good mornings here. Kind of already done them a little bit, but use lighter resistance on these until you know your back can handle it. Slide thin in the knees, and then what we're gonna do is bend at the back, a little bit at the hips, come back up just like that. Here we go. So, coming down and back up. Nice and easy. Should be having a nice smooth transition from down to up. Here we go. We are bending at the lower back here ever so slightly. Oh, come on. Nice and easy. A couple seconds. Here we go. All right, we got side bends left. So we're gonna step on the bands. Make sure to really choke up. You can create a lot of resistance here. Then what we're gonna do is drop the right hand. You should not have a band in both hands for this. From here, come down and then to the other side. Down and then come over. Here we go. Feeling it in the obliques. Keep pushing. Here we go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, switching sides. Remember to choke up, kind of feel it out. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one right there. All right, side, side bend. Here we go, remember band should only be in the right hand, not both hands. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Pushing. A couple more. One more. Woo! There we go. 30 second break. Then we're going in to bicep curls. So, for bicep curls, just a normal, everyday standard bicep curl. We got regular curls, hammer curls, and then alternating close curls if I can remember correctly. So what we're gonna do is step on the bands for one or both feet, palms facing out away from us. We're gonna come up, back down. Here we go, coming up and back down. Up and down. There we go. Good controlled movements. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. If you need to, you can alternate. Woo. Biceps are burning. We got hammers next. So what I like to do for my hammer curls is kind of turn my handles to the side and then grab that cloth. Bring my feet a little bit closer together on these. Palms facing each other, coming up, back down. Here we go. Coming up and down. up and down. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Here 
Good pushing. Come on. It's on fire. Ah, there we go. All right, alternating close curls. So for these, I'm gonna make it just a little bit tougher since we're gonna be alternating. What we're gonna do here, keep the elbows nice and close to the sides, and then we're bringing our hand across and back down. Here we go. Coming up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, whoo, <laughs> come on. That's on fire. Let's go. Here we go, push it out. Keep pushing, burn it up. Come on. We gotta get one more. Oh, biceps are spent after that. We've got 30 seconds, we're going into overhead tricep extension. So for these, we're gonna drop one side on the ground, step on it, have the long end right there, we're gonna step through it. And then I put my thumb through the handle like that, then we can bring it up and over to do our extension. Here we go, a couple seconds. Coming up. And down, up, and down. Here we go. Oh, come on, burn those triceps up. Your triceps always feel like, you're good, you're good, you're not good anymore. <laughs> come on. Oh, we got Bruce coming down the dock. Let's get one more. Here we go. All right, we got tricep kickbacks. Nice light weight. That might be too light for me. Light resistance. Hey, pup, come here, boy. Come here, bud. All right, so for these, bend under one foot, bending at the hips, elbows up right here, kicking back. Coming back, just as needed. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Come on. If you need to alternate, that's fine. You could also do these seated as well. A little late, but better late than never. Come on. Squeeze. Back down. Squeeze. Come on, we got one more. Oh, whoo. Whoo. Good stuff right there. Right, we're gonna try some push outs. So for these, band behind the back. This time our palms are gonna be facing down from the start and our elbows are a little high. So you can have your elbows here, you can have them a little bit down. From here, all we're gonna do, extend out, come back. Extend out, come back. There we go. Come on. Push it. There we go. Come on. Let's get two more. Last one. Ah, whoo. 30 seconds. We got a shoulder press coming up. We got a shoulder press, lateral raise, and I'm be honest, I can't remember. So I'm gonna try my shoulder press with this. Probably gonna be too much, but I'm gonna do it anyways. It's all right. I can always alternate if need be. So from here, palms facing out. 
Here we go. I already know I'm in trouble. There we go. Palms out, coming up, back down. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Keep going. Uh, uh, one more. One more. Uh, woo! Oh, there we go. Shoulders are spent. Going a little lighter. Resistance here. For lateral raises. Slide in and the elbows here. Coming out and down. Here we go. Out. And back down. Out. And back down. Come on. Let's go. Come on, push it out. If you need to alternate, you can. I'm going to have to alternate. Let's go. Good controlled reps here. Let's get two more. Last one. Last one. Oh. Seated reverse flies. Lighter weight. It's going from 70 pounds to 30 pounds to 20 pounds. <laughs> here we go. Wrapping it around the foot here. Make sure they're nice and even. From here, I'm actually going to kind of hold it in between my fingers. Actually, no, I'll hold it in between my thumb. The index finger. Come out. Oh. Back down, so slide in the elbows right here. Lock that in like that. Come back. There we go. Exhale when you pull the hands back. Inhale as you bring them back together. There we go. Come on. Here we go, 30 second break. We're going into abs here. We got crunch holds coming up. So we're gonna get in crunch position on our back. If you want, you can have your feet up or your feet down. I'm gonna keep my feet down, pulled up to my butt here. Hands behind the head. What we're gonna do from here, come up, hold, two, three seconds, four seconds, something like that, come back down. Here we go. All right, coming up, hold, 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 back down. Up and hold, come on, come on, hold it, down. Back up, down, so when I come down, I'm just kind of letting my head tap and then coming right back up. Hold, 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 and down, come on, hold, Hold it, hold, down. And this one, we're just gonna hold to the bell. Hold it, come on. There we go. Whoo, those are always fun. I might have lied on the two, three seconds. It's more like seven, eight seconds, but it is what it is. All right, for leg, uh, leg lifts, put your hands up under your butt here. Make sure to keep your head up. We don't want our head down. We want our head up on this, feet out. Here we go, coming up and down, up and down. As you bring the feet up, be sure to exhale. Inhale on the way down. If you want, when you come up right here, you can get that little hip thrust. Make sure that you're using the core when you're doing that. If your hands are down here, make sure you're not trying to kind of activate the triceps and push down. That's not really working your abs. Come on. Here we go. All right, we got hollow body holds coming up. So for these, what we're gonna do is have our feet 
about 18 inches off the ground. Hands are going to be either here or here, head up. There we go. Head up. Right here. So you can be here. Let me bring my feet down. You can be here or here. Either one is totally fine. Just try to contract the core. Squeeze. Exhale. Squeeze down on it. There we go. If you need to bring your feet a little higher, that's fine. And then slowly drop them till it's a point where you almost feel like you're going to fail. But you can hold it there a little longer. Come on. Keep that head up. Trying to keep the back planted on the ground. Hold. Hold. You got this. Couple seconds. There we go. We are done. Love the hollow body holds. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.